boy, I'm really late on this one, but from Zombie Sailor Toys and their official Wrestling's Hills and Faces toy line, their WWF Hasbro inspired line, this is their Wave 1 Matt Cardona, the former Zack Ryder and the King of the Indies. Uh, also, the host of, well, one of the hosts, of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Here on the back, you can see the other figures. Got Sabu, got Earl. The only one I'm missing from Wave 1 is Brian Myers. I think I've reviewed everyone else, too. I need to get Brian. Uh, down here, you can see Matt Cardona. He's six foot two. He weighs 230 pounds. He's from Long Island, New York, baby. The Deathmatch King and Internet Champion is always ready. Host of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Finishes off opponents with his signature move, Radio Silence. So, yeah. And then you can also see this is the blueprint of the figure. The figure was designed by Ron Rudant, same guy who designed a lot of the Hasbro figures. We know the drill at this point. Let's actually open up this guy, see how he feels. It really doesn't feel fair to review this figure right now. Because right now we're on wave 3 of Zombie Sailor. And I've seen what they're doing with their newer figures that I love so much. And this guy is still amazing. But there's a part of me that's like, oh, but if it was designed today, it would do this. So in terms of the articulation, right? You got swivel at the head, swivel at the arm, swivel at the waist. Alongside that, the figure just looks absolutely incredible. The likeness is perfect. And I love the metallic blues and purples on the trunks. Absolutely wonderful. Love how much that pops. The figure is kind of doing the old Hulk Hogan gimmick. Keep in mind, there are no gimmicks on these figures, but they do keep the design molds. So that's kind of what they're bringing uh, to mind is the old Hulk Hogan slam gimmick. All that's fine. All that's great. The figure looks amazing. But I'm thinking about nowadays where it's like, you know, I bet there would be like an elbow in here or there would be wrist articulation or there'd be an alternate head or alternate arms. I'm not saying that it's a problem that those things aren't here. I'm just saying I'm comparing it to figures that Zombie Sailor has done later on. And I still really like this guy. I just have to take a moment and remember, hey, this is the foundation. Okay, we've already seen the jacuzzi on the second floor, and that's really nice, but that can't be there if it wasn't for this rock-solid foundation. I really do enjoy this figure, and I'm worried that it comes off like I'm nitpicking. I'm not. I'm really trying to stress that I like this figure a lot. It just took me a moment to remember, hey, just because we are here now doesn't mean that we were always here, you know? But this is probably my favorite Matt Cardona in my collection, to be honest. And I have a couple at this point. Um, I'm really excited to get the Brian Myers, need to get him in, and then after that, I'm getting closer to complete on Zombie Sailor, yeah, which is just great because I'm sure Wave 4 is going to be around the corner eventually, but, uh, one of my favorite toy lines going on right now, one of my favorite people doing wrestling figures, cannot wait to see more, like, young Matt Cardona here.